Salut, salut! Salut! You must have heard of possessive adjectives, those little words that tell you what belongs to whom. Possession being key in today's world, you gotta get them down. So let's start right now, Ninou. In English, possessive adjectives function in a pretty straightforward way. If something belongs to me, I say my. If it belongs to you, I say your. If it belongs to him, I say his, etc., etc. In French, it's a little bit more complicated. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> to translate my, we'll say mon, ma, or me, depending on the gender and number of the noun that follows. We use mon in front of masculine nouns and in front of nouns that start with a vowel sound. Example, mon copain, mon ami. We use ma in front of feminine nouns starting with a consonant. So we'll say ma copine. And we use me in front of all plural nouns. No need to worry about the gender of the noun that follows here. So we'll say mes copains, mes amis, mes copines. I got it. So the same rule applies to the translation of the familiar your, right? Yes, actually we'll say ton copain, ton ami, ta copine. Tes copains, tes amis, tes copines. So, so, do the rules also apply to his and her? Yes, luckily they do. So we'll say son copain, son ami, sa copine, ses copains, ses amis, ses copines. But careful here, because in French there's no distinction between the possessive adjectives his and her. Only the context will determine whether we're referring to his or her belongings. In other words, uh, son copain can mean both his or her friend. Sa voiture can mean both his or her car. So basically when you want to translate to his or her, you basically use son, sa or se depending on the gender and the number of the word that follows? Exactly. Well, let's practice. Okay, let's do it. So what's the French for his dog? Son chien. His dogs? Ses chiens. Her dog. Son chien. Her dogs. Ses chiens. Great! So if you got all four correct, you may continue with the rest of the lesson. And if not? Well, you may want to go over the first part again before you continue, but the rest is a little bit easier. So to translate the possessive adjective our, we use notre in front of singular words and no in front of plural words. No need to worry about the gender of the noun that follows here. <sighs> yes, finally some good news. Yes, so we'll say notre copain, notre ami, notre copine, nos copains, nos amis, nos copines. Is the logic the same for the possessive adjective your? Yes, it is actually. So we'll say votre copain, votre ami, votre copine, vos copains, vos amis, vos copines. And finally, the translation of there. I know that one. Good. We can use leur, L-E-U-R. And then if it's plural, we do L-E-U-R-S. Exactly. So we'll have leur copain, leur ami, leur copine, leur copain, leurs amis, leur copine. I've summed it all up in a chart for you. That's all there is to know, so good luck with it all and uh, à la prochaine. Au revoir.